today is going to be a bit of a different video. I'm going to take a drive up to the Lake District. It's a lovely sunny day um, and we're, the plan is get to Bowness, get to Ambleside, get some food. So I'll strap you to the front of my car, my windscreen, and uh, come with me for a little ride. So we're making our way out of, um, well, just come through Dalton and um, we're making our way up to the lakes. Now let me know if this is your kind of a video. Um, I'm not in the kitchen, I'm not doing a, f a food review as such. Well, I will be. Um, I'll be getting some grub out, that's for sure. Um, but it's just going to be something different. It's going to be um, more like a vlog, this, a video log, as they say. Uh, and longer as well. It might not be up your street, but it's just something different and it gets me out of the kitchen. And um, just uh, it shows you the sights as well of the Lake District. Um, that, that farm shop there, I did that one, Browns, very, very lovely pies there, just went past the sign for it. Um, and we're heading into uh, Ulverston, coming up. So we're coming into uh, Ulverston now, uh, Ulverston, uh, historic market town and, and very famous for the birthplace of Stan Laurel. I've done a few fish and chip videos, well, I've, yeah, I think I've done a couple of fish and chip videos. In Ulverston, and I did a video where me and my uh, my good lady met. So, do we need fuel? That's the next question. Well, how much have I got left? 160 mile range. How much is fuel here at this shell garage? Um, 142.9 and 147.9 for diesel. Wowzers! It? I remember when it was fuel was under a quid. And I thought it's never going to go up a pound. <laughs> Oh yeah. We got the um, ambulance uh, up above there, uh, up above, uh, uh, ahead of us. Uh, like to give them a big shout out to all the emergency services. They do an amazing, amazing job. They really do. So it's a it's a lovely sunny day. It's it does look like it's red out there, doesn't it? It's 16 and a half degrees. Well, will probably be a little bit colder up the lakes. What was that? And please, um, no backseat drivers. So we've gone off piste a little bit. This wasn't planned. Um, they're the sort of journeys I like. Um, I'm going to take you to um, over a Kirkstone Pass. Now there's a pub up here, and I think it is. Don't quote me. I'll have to check. <laughs> uh, it's one of the highest pubs in Britain, or it might be England. <laughs> I'll cover all my bases, but that is the plan. We're going up to Kirkstone Pass. So in, in the distance, that's where we are heading, right up there in that sort of crack, just behind that tree in there, in there. up yonder. Going up in the world. 
It's about 1500 feet above sea level, this pass. Uh, there's a pub up there as well, and uh, we're gonna plan is to sort of park up and uh, get some get some video footage of the area and the pub. Might even have a, a swift half, a shandy. And, uh, well, I'll have a soft drink because I'm driving soft drink, yes. I will have a cork or something like that. Works and this road is going to be closed in June. There must be um, there's lots of lots of lovely big potholes <laughs> which I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> Although I went down massive one before, um, I had to switch the video off. It's uh, can't put that on video. Or what I said. Pub's closed, oh no! <laughs> ah, here we are. Well, better not park there, disabled. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> The pub look. Kirkstone pass in. Looks like they're having a bit of work done. There's the views. We're going to go down that road there and um, that'll take us into Ambleside and we come up that road over there. So it's, it's shut unfortunately. They're having a new roof put on. That was bad timing. Like I say, it wasn't planned. Didn't plan on coming here. Yeah. It is a nice little quaint pub. I have been in before. When I was, um, when I got out of the army, I was training to go in the RAF. There we go, look, it tells you. Kirkstone Pass in 1496, 1481. Well, you can read it, can't you? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was training um, to get into the the RAF after I'd been in the army and me and my mate used to come up here and we used to do a few runs. He was ex-army as well. Yeah, we'd sort of, we'd run up here and then we'd run down there into Ambleside. Did that with Scott. Had our backpacks on. Yeah. So, sorry about that being shut. <laughs> That's that. Well, let's go to Ambleside. And that's it then. Ta da, pub! Is that road closed? 
Oh, this road closed that way. Oh, we'll be going that way then. <laughs> Go about the same way we come. I thought there was no cars coming up there. Right, free wheel all the way down. Whee! Let's get to um, Ambleside. All this uh, driving is working up an appetite. Um, get parked in here. Oh, can I get parked in here? So this is like the main town the main road and I've just got parked so I'm gonna have a walk up now and have a look for a fish and chip shop I think there's one up here go for a sit down Thai cuisine fish and chips I've seen two fish and chippies There's another one there, fish and chips. Oh, I can smell curry as well. Oh, not like driving. Makes you hungry, doesn't it? these pubs oh oh yes <laughs> oh I'm thirsty as well must resist the pubs keep out of them look for a fish and chip shop down here. No, I don't want to go down there. Down here. Come back on ourselves, I think. So I've just done a, a loop on myself and I can't recommend any sort of B&Bs in uh, all this um, Ambleside. Oh, there it is. I was looking for my car. I've parked it here. I've been all around the block. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I can't recommend any, I'm afraid, but there's plenty up here. Just going past one here, Linda's B&B, &B, Bunkhouse. Ah, vacancies. Yeah. So I'll give these a go, I don't know what they're like. I've not seen any reviews or anything about them. Um, but I'm going to give them a go, see what it's all about. So here they are, fish, chips and mushy peas and I paid for these, have a guess how much? There they are, there's the price. $13.95 One fish $8.50, chips $3.95 and peas $1.50 um, And I got, um, you didn't have to pay for the tray and the packaging and I got a free fork and free salt and vinegar. So yeah, so it makes um, them fish and chips in Bowness, fish chips and mushy peas in Bowness for a 10 seem pretty uh, good. <laughs> um, and this is Ambleside and these are uh, tourists, this is a tourist trap and this is the prices you pay in these places. So I'm sat in my car, it's red hot, it's, it's 19 degrees now so it has got warmer. Um, I'm going to get into these now. It's all, um, it's all fresh, all cooked to order. Um, I had to wait like five or six minutes for the fish. So let's get into that. Mm. Oh, that batter is lovely. Mm. 
that is tasty batter that's crispy as well the chips mm. the chips are good let's try the peas The peas are okay, they're not as sweet as the peas I had in Bowness. I did like them because I think she'd put sh um, a bit of sugar in them. Just gives it a little bit of sweetness. And But the peas are okay, but for me they need a bit of seasoning. Um, the, the fish is... There's the batter. There's your fish. Mm. <laughs> That batter is lovely, very tasty. And the fish is good as well. It's lovely and um, cooked well. But the fish is lovely and I'll use my fork. I'm getting it all over the way. Is it? What have I done with my fork? There it is. Yeah. Chips are good as well. And I did, I did notice he took a few bad ones out as well when he was sort of getting them, you know, sort of plating up if, if, if you were. Mmm. So eight fifty for the fish. You know the sort of large or small fishes. It was all sort of one price. You can get haggis in there as well and place. Um, the 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 greasy, but I like them greasy because that's all your flavour, isn't it? Mmm. And if you do like it, give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. I need some wipes. Got no wipes ever. Skill by Harry. Um, right, oh no, no. Thought that was um, on my jacket then. So, thanks very much for watching. Um, let me know your thoughts on the old fish and chips. These are expensive. Um, but, you know, when you're in the Lake District, it's, it's a massive tourist spot here. Yeah? And these are the prices you pay. Uh, it's just that's the way it is. The days are gone now of getting fish and chips. You know, I mean, 13 quid, 13 quid, over 13 quid, fish, chips and mushy peas. You know, I mean, a family of four, that's, um, it's a lot of money, isn't it? It's a lot of money, a, a lot of money. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy them now. I'm not going to go on about them, and I'm sure you don't want to see me eating them. <laughs> so just an out and about video, something different. Um... I'll try and do a few more if you like this kind of thing. I'm sorry the pub was, if you just sat to this, if you just skipped to this bit, I've been to a pub up Kirkstone Pass and, um, well, I won't tell you. <laughs> you might go back and watch that bit um, in, the, in this video. Right, so take care, all the best, and if I, if I come across any nasty bones or anything like that, I mean, it's a fish, it's the nature of a fish to have bones, isn't it, so... You know, you get a bone, you get a bone, innit? That's just the way it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles, as you say. But, yeah, it's tasty. That's all that matters. I mean, the fish was cooked fresh. The chips are lovely. The peas are, the peas are average. Uh, the batter is nice and tasty. And, and the fish is lovely and moist, and that's all you need. And salt and vinegar on them. You know, nice if they were about six quid, like, but... <laughs> that's just life. So take care, all the best. And, um I'll catch you on the next one. Right. No, oh, no, don't drop that.